Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey, Head of Municipal Capital Markets for BAM from the Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Grant, thanks for being here this week. Good morning, uh, we just uh, saw the release of the February employment report this morning, and the headline number, the uh, total number of jobs created in February was stronger than expected, but that's not how the market is viewing this report. What are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, at first it looked like the headline jobs number was probably enough to nudge the Fed towards um, you know, the 50 basis point hike, as Powell was suggesting uh, earlier in the week, but I think as, uh, as traders um, and pundits kind of sorted through the, um, through the data, uh, you know, wage growth ended up rising uh, at the slowest pace in a year. And uh, so I think that all in all is a pretty mixed signal for the Fed. Uh, my opinion is, you know, we'll see uh, 25 basis points. The average hourly earnings climbed just 0.2% uh, from January and just 4.6% from a year ago. So, um, you know, I, I also think if it's a close call, the uh, I can't imagine the Fed wouldn't uh, weigh what's happening uh, in the banking sector, you know, specifically at SBB and and what a larger hike might mean kind of more broadly for the financial sector. Um, but uh, so, you know, we'll see. But I think, the, uh, as you mentioned, I think the the market is uh, discounting the 25 basis point hike. Uh, Muni's had a really strong uh, week. We saw the heaviest volume, weekly volume of the year. Uh, at 13.3 billion, um, and and it met very strong demand. I mean, partly was, uh, there was a lot of uh, a large component of taxable issuance uh, this week, so uh, that was well absorbed at these higher uh, at these higher rates. And um, and in terms of the tax exempt debt, uh, you just had a you know small outflows. Lipper reported uh, about 340 million in outflows, which is down from a billion and a half the week before. So Technicals were good. The mar the the deals were uh, well received, and um, you know, all in all, we for the week, you know, through last night, uh, benchmark muni yields were were unchanged. Uh, but there's a good tone. Yeah, it's an interesting point. You know, muni sometimes are, are are seen as uh, slow to react to the market, but when you have a lot of volatility in the market, swinging back and forth, that could be a good thing. Uh, absolutely, and and. Uh, you know, so we're um, we're we're said it'll be all eyes, uh, you know, on, on the Fed. And uh, um, but uh, I think next week we're looking uh, for slightly, I think, closer to six billion. So I think that probably some of the supply we saw this week, uh, you know, maybe was pushed forward to uh, to get in before the unemployment number, obviously, which uh, always has the potential to uh, create volatility. And so for this past week, uh, we saw just about $150 million of new issues insured by BAM. Uh, that was led by $76 million for Florida Polytechnic University. That was uh, insured in the competitive market by Robert W. Baird. Florida Polytechnic is a really interesting story. It's a relatively new university. Uh, it admitted its first students back in 2017 and has grown pretty quickly. Uh, those bonds are to help build out the residential dormitory system on campus. And Alex Weissman, our colleague, uh, managing vice president in public finance, who underwrote that transaction, recorded a BAM Credit Insights video. Uh, you can visit BAM's YouTube page and see that for more information about that transaction. We also saw $33 million of community, uh, excuse me, college community school district bonds from Iowa, uh, also uh, one in the competitive sector by Baird. So a, a diverse uh, geographic mix of transactions uh, this week on the BAM calendar. Anything else uh, on your radar for next week or are we just uh, watching for the Fed? I, I think we'll, uh, you know, more of the same. We've, uh, it's been pretty uh, active uh, in the secondary market, so uh, we continue to see a lot of activity there. And I think the the deal that you mentioned, the Florida Polytech deal, uh, was a great example of where bond insurance really uh, helped. You know, on a name that you point out that's relatively new to the market uh, in the triple B category, and uh, I think um, you know there was a lot of interest in that in that deal that R. W. Baird bought. Great. Well, thanks for your feedback, Grant. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Great. Thanks, Mike.